All right, it's November 16th, uh, 2023, and we're on Portage Lake again. Uh, but main reason I'm here is to try a new rod, which some of you might be interested in. Trika, Trika. Um, got a brand new spinning rod, seven foot medium. And I'm going to try that most of the morning, just try that with different baits. I'm going to start off with a black spinner bait. Got braid on it, see what the feel is with that. And uh, I'm sure we'll throw a rattle trap for a little bit. Super calm this morning, though. Uh, the air temperature is about 35, so with the winter coat on. Water temperature is 45, so uh, starting to get pretty cold, but we'll, we'll try maybe a jerk bait, blade bait. Uh, I got a dark sleeper I've never used, might give that a shot, and maybe a jig. Just kind of check out that rod, see if it's everything that uh, the advertisement say or not. So I'll try to do a full rod review too, separately. But, all right, stay tuned. to meet it, it was just a little bass. He had it right at the boat. Just kind of watching my spinnerbait come in and then thought I saw some mouth and just a little bass. Oh, would have been the first fish in the new rod. I guess it was. Traffic not the great day for it, it's terribly calm, but we're just going to cover some water and throw the rattle trap for a little bit just to kind of test it with this rod and see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Tying on a fast colored Yozuri Redland vibe. I've got a blue and silver one tied on my 13 Fishing Envy. This is a 6 9 medium fast, and this is a 7 foot medium fast. Be able to compare casting distance a little bit and just feel. First fish on the new rod. Not bad. On a rail trap.
still a few, a few small bass on shallow cruising. on the same spot. Now with the model line on the spool has enough neck. Letting it sit on the bottom to uh, test it out. As soon as I started reeling it, got this guy all tangled up. It's not what I was expecting when I started reeling again. <laughs> the fish on. Probably just snagged him. And, uh, haven't caught a dog fishing year or so though. Interesting little fish. Kind of like them. Used to have snake heads as a pet in an aquarium. Ah. You almost moved. Scary. Um, I was in college. I had some snake heads when you could buy them legally and had them in an aquarium. The coolest fish I ever had. Dogfish look a lot like them. Yeah, I don't know if you were just curious and I just happened to, as soon as I started reeling, I just snagged them or what? Oh. Alright. Let's, uh. Let's try one more spot with the rail trap, quick. Well, I'm marking a lot of stuff out here in 20 to 30 feet of water. So we're just gonna change, put out a blade bait, change. Uh, reels, take off the one with braid, put on one with fluorocarbon, and go back through with the blade bait. I can't catch anything on the blade bait. <sighs> we had one lost fish, is all we've had so far on like five trips. So we're going to throw the, call a rip stop around this point in a minute. We don't have much more time. I don't really like these rip stops very much, but uh, I just used this, had it on the rod in my car and used it at a little park. I stopped for 10 minutes, caught a nice, probably three pounder on it. All right, so. there we go, nice one. Especially this park here in Jenison. 
maybe eventually I'll learn to like them. But I don't think this is going to be quite the right rod I like for jerk baits. Here's the rip stop. Here's the rod. It's a nice rod though. Comfortable grip. Ah, uh, this little finger cut out. Not quite in the perfect spot for my if my pinky wants to be in there, my ring finger. Getting used to it. Could be a little bigger maybe or I don't know. Um but otherwise the rod's nice. Seems sensitive. It's it's a medium fast, it's got a ton of backbone. Down in the middle of the rod, doesn't bend at all. And gradually tapers to a really nice soft light tip. And uh and fishing the spinner bait and the rattle trap, just feel that see that tip just shaking and vibrating. So far, no complaints. I like it. Is it worth $300? It probably feels like a $300 rod. I don't know if it outperformed $600 rods yet, but I don't have any to compare it to. Let's finish up with the crankbait. Just five or ten minutes. Touch off this new rod I got. But again, it's a Troika 6X, 7 foot medium fast spinning rod. And I uh, yeah, really like the rod. Sensitivity is really good. Uh, just getting comfortable with it, getting used to it. But I think I'm going to like it. I'm not going to rush out and buy a second one until I spend some more time with it. But uh, I do like it. It's a nice rod. So. I don't think they're they're lying about what they can do. Um, yeah. Simple, nice design, good feel, uh, comfortable. So, if you're thinking about it, I think you should give them a try. I'm not sponsored, I bought it myself, so I'll try to give an honest review. But I'll fish with it some more and. We'll finish up this review after I spend some more time with it. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe and have a good day.